Hi, this is Ariel with Homeschool Together, and today we're going to start a series of videos showing you exactly how to use Trello. We're starting from the very beginning and we'll take just small steps. Today we're going to sign up for a new Trello account and uh, look at the architecture and overview of Trello so you can get an idea of what how it's organized and, and what it can do. So first here, go to Trello.com and you'll put in your email and there's our podcast email there. Go ahead and sign up for my account. This is free. So I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, my husband's name as I already have an account here. And we'll just put in test for password. Uh, test one. Oh, eight characters. All right. Uh, bear with me a minute. There we go. Just for demonstration purposes. All right, so now it's logging me into Trello and I'm just gonna go over the way that Trello's organized. So the first thing that we need to do here is come up with the name of a team. So this is, this is the way that Trello's organized. It's organized by teams. If you're using this for homeschooling, you could think about teams as being maybe the year in school that you're doing, or so it could be kindergarten or first grade. Maybe it's a group of curriculum. Basically what a team is, is it's going to be a group of different boards and each board will have the ability to hold tasks and attachments and all kinds of things. So just for now, just to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to say that my board's going to be called kindergarten. Okay. And I'm going to say that it's uh, education, although this team type is not going to matter for our purposes. Uh, okay, this is where if you had other people that you were collaborating with, let's say that you have a, a homeschooling bestie that you were going to do your planning with, you could invite them and you could both work on the same board. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave that blank. So once I hit continue, I could say this is where it's going to try to upsell you. Okay, so business class has got a whole lot of features in it that are really great for small businesses or uh, going to large businesses. But for us, we just need for we just need the free version. It'll do everything that we need to do for homeschool planning, all of your basic functions and a lot of the advanced ones. So, I have upwards of 25 boards and I still don't have any issues with using the free version. Now you'll notice here that it actually says that you can only have up to 10 boards. So we'll talk about what boards are. Boards are those uh, places where you plan. So if you were thinking about this in terms of like a paper planner, uh, a board might be um, a section of your planner. So you have, maybe you have a section all about math or uh, a section for science or a month. This whole month is your plan, right? So uh, this is true in that you can only have 10 boards, but that's per team. So as you see, I made a team for kindergarten. In there, I could put uh, a board for math and I could do one for science and one for a different curriculum I'm doing and reading and, and other things. Uh, I can only have 10 under that kindergarten logo or header. But once I create a new team, which is also free within my same account, I can have more. So I'll show you how that works. So for now, um, we're just going to know that we don't need to go with the business class, that we can go ahead and use the free. So it's all the way down here. You see, so start without business class. There we go. Okay. That's how you get on here for free. Just wanted to make sure that everyone understood uh, the way that that works because they, they try to be a little tricky there. Okay, so the first thing to do, we've created a team. Now we're going to create a board. All right, so I'm going to go right here. I'm not going to use any of these, these templates. I'm just going to go here to create a new board. And, and I'm going to title this reading. Okay, so uh, I'll talk more about boards uh, in a bit. But just for now, I just want to show you the organization of Trello. Okay, so we don't need to upgrade it's going to try to sell us on that for a little bit and then and then it will uh, it will let us go. Also, you notice there's a banner here. It will want you to confirm your email address within the next uh, 14 days so that it knows that it got the right email address for you. But for now, 
So it sets up this first board with a little uh, Kanban here. So Kanban is a system that basically catalogs work that's to be done, that you're in process, and that you've already finished. That's a really basic way to do it. And this could be considered like a Kanban board. We don't have to do that. These are just uh, temporary headers. You could name this anything. You could um, name this uh, books to read, whatever you want. So the way that the, the architecture Trello works, you have these boards and on here, these are your lists. And within lists, you have cards. Let's say we're just going to put um, book one, whatever it is. These cards are going to be where you can contain all kinds of information about a description. You can put pictures, you can do attachments. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in cards. And we'll talk about that in a future video. For now, I just want you to know that this is a board. Um, and then these are your lists and your cards. So you could make a books to read and list a whole columns of them. You could do um, uh, books that you're in the middle of, books you finished, or you don't have to follow this to do doing done format. You could do whatever you want. Each list could be a different week of curriculum that you're working on. Uh, the possibilities are endless, but I just wanted you to understand the basic architecture. When you go up here to boards, this is where my uh, kindergarten team and you can see that I have reading here. I could also go and say, I'm going to create a new board uh, that's still in the same team, and I'm going to call it math, let's say. So I've got a new board. Uh, these backgrounds are changeable, and I'll show you in another video. But just so you know, you can see that I have different boards now. These are just planning spaces where you can do lists and cards. You can add as many lists as you want, long lists of cards. There's checklists and all kinds of advanced things. But just for the moment, I wanted you to understand how to sign up for Trello, how to make sure that it's free, start your first team, and uh, understand the, the architecture of the program. And we'll call it for now and come back for a future video and we'll talk about uh, customizing boards, what you can do with cards, how you can do lists. So uh, please come back. And if you have any questions at all about this video, leave a note in the comments. You can also check out a great episode we did on our podcast all about how we use Trello to maximize our homeschool planning. We'll put a link down in the show notes for that too. Thanks so much.